Hey, today we're going to learn how to successfully create a budget. You know that word budget? You speak it and everyone's like, oh, whatever. Rolls their eyes, doesn't work. Wasted time. Boring. Okay, so let me give you my story and how I ended up here uh, and how I ended up actually starting the process of budgeting because it was a crisis. I went to university and the deal was my parents would pay for my university fees and that was it. Upkeep and my social life and everything else that I needed after that was me to take care of and that was the deal with my parents. In fact, they said, you know, once you go to school, we'll take care of your six months expenses because you know you need to settle down, figure things out, find your way around, and then within six months, really, you should have figured stuff out. And after that, you're on your own, but we'll take care of your tuition. So I was like, yeah, cool. And so I started and I ate out every night because guess what, when I was younger, my siblings did all the cooking, but I, I couldn't have been bothered. And so I just didn't bother cooking. I would go out and eat a burger or chips or whatever it was that I was eating out. And you know, I was in school with some friends who were a little loaded than I was, and so I joined them. Within, when the six months were up, uh, I hadn't had a job, and so I didn't have an income, and I had my money just slowly running out. And this one day, I remember, in fact, it had been a whole week, and this whole week I kept going to so and so's apartment, so and so's apartment, because we had student housing where there were six students in each house, and people used to cook, and I was in school with Asians, uh, particularly from China and Singapore, and they cook like mad. And so I'd go to the apartment and say, hi, how are you guys doing? And I'd stick around, and before you know it, you know, they're like Africans. I'd have food on my plate, and I'd be eating. By this day, I had been around for like over a week and so I was even embarrassed about going to these other people's apartments to eat and so I was starving. I hadn't had lunch. My last meal was breakfast and it was the last slice of bread I had and I'm being serious. This is a true story. I had, hadn't had lunch. It was not dinner time. It was 9 p.m. and I couldn't sleep and I was like how am I going to hack this? So I went into my kitchen. There were six of us in this house. And I opened the fridge and obviously I can't take someone else's food because I'll get into trouble. And I looked at what I had and I had nothing and I just had a tea bag and I put it in a cup and put hot water and I started sipping and I was like, what am I going to do? And so I walked to the bin and I don't know why I walked to the bin, but I saw this bin and there was a slightly over toasted slice of bread. And you know, I picked it up. I picked it up. I took a knife. I scraped off the dark sides that were burnt. And I ate it and I slept. That night changed my life. Yani, I became a chokora. Me. I became a chokora that night. And it, I don't know, it just did something for me. And I, the feeling that I felt was so. I don't even know. I just thought I just never wanted to feel this way again. And so I said, okay, I'm going to look for a job. And so I did. And I found a job. I did all kinds of jobs, including jumping on and off trucks, delivering milk. Yeah, me. Delivering milk and juices to people's houses. I did that. And do you know, uh, I slowly started to figure out, okay, this is the amount of money I have in a month and it has to stretch for the rest of the month because guess what? I don't have the option of calling my parents to sort me out. And it taught me a couple of things. I also took time to read and figure out, okay, so this money thing, how is it managed? How people do people actually do this? And one of the things that I learned throughout this process is that we budget wrong. Actually, you find most people sit down and start writing, okay, food will cost me X amount of money, uh, transport, and they write it down and hope to live by this budget. It doesn't work that way. The way that I found it working the best is if you track your expenses first and say, you know, for the next three months, what I am going to do is I'm just going to write down whatever I am spending. I'm not going to change my spending habits. I'll just write it down. I'm spending X on newspapers and it's on everything. Newspapers, parking, tickets to wherever, you know, I'm going to the movies. I'm having lunch with so-and-so. 
I'm buying a dress, I'm buying clothes, I'm buying trousers, whatever it is, write it down. And every week, compile it so that you don't end up having any miscellaneous items on your budget because there's nothing miscellaneous. Everything goes somewhere. And so once you have this expense tracker down, you'll be able to actually see, okay, so this is actually in reality where my money is going. Only then can you actually see where your money is overspent or not. And then if you need to make adjustments to afford anything that you want to do, then it becomes easy. Then you can say, okay, you know what? I've been eating out for every day for the last, I don't know how many days, and surely I can just eat out once a week, or I can reduce the amount of times I'm going to the movies, or instead of throwing 10 rounds for my guys, I'll throw one round in the month. And you find a way of cutting down these expenses. Um, and it's like magic. Before you know it, uh, you'll be able to actually start to save money but not from a painful perspective or in a suffering way but rather in a way that is realistic and easy and so i want to give you a money wise challenge to sit down from today buy a little diary or a little uh, exercise book and a pen put it in your bag if you're a guy use your phone to to um take um, down whatever it is that you're spending your money on and every end of the week sit down either put it on your laptop put it on a piece of paper doesn't matter and just try and figure out where is your money going thank you for watching that video i hope it's helped you if you have any questions please do post them our contact details are below uh, and so do write to us on sema at moneywise.co.ke and guess what we have finally launched our book my book is out money wise it's out and it's now officially available you can actually buy it online on mymook.com uh, we'll post the link down so that you can see but you can just log on to the website and search uh, the product or the the merchant is Wajiku limited and you'll be able to get money wise uh, available there it can be delivered to you and if you prefer to pick up from the store you can do that and the information is on the website and you'll be able to do that it's also available at textbook center it's available at Keswick bookshops uh, so do get yourself a copy if you have a copy already buy it as a gift for a friend somebody getting married uh, it will help them uh, so thank you so much please do share the video subscribe um, so that you get to know what else is, is coming up we have some interesting things in store for you guys uh, so stay tuned this is Rena Hicks with money wise where we create grow and preserve wealth